He knocked me over. Um, I landed on the dog bowl. This one's wife. Invictus Germany ditches the Sussexes. Hello, I'm H.G. Tudor. There are two fundamental problems when the Sussexes come to town in relation to your organisation. One, you're expected to pay their bills. You have to pay for their travel, clothing, accommodation and meals. As I've explained in my video, I'll spend your cash. This is all as a consequence of the life of privilege that Harry has had and the narcissism of his wife, who believes that everybody should foot the bill for her because she's so special. That may well irk some organisations that there is an expectation to be paid, but if you're hiring that person, you may well reach agreement. After all, if you're bringing somebody in that's going to make you lots of money, then you're not going to have such a problem paying for them. Of course, when it comes to this one's wife and Harry, the difficulty is they might not actually make you much money because their brand has become so toxic. There are so many people around the world who do not like them. There are so many people around the world who very firmly make it clear that they would have no involvement with the charities that they are, have had an involvement with through Archwell, that wouldn't support them financially, that they wouldn't even purchase certain products that this one's wife has an involvement in. Furthermore, the problem from their toxicity is such that they are a huge distraction. That when you have created a symposium of people to come together to discuss something, an event in order to herald some kind of uh, invention or development, that you have planned a charitable event in order to raise your profile and make funds, Unfortunately for you, you risk having this one's wife come along and overshadow it all through her behaviour, another fight with the royal family, nasty comments being made, or just making the entire event all about her and not about what it's meant to be. After all, one young world must be wondering what they spent their money on after the catatonic Bridgewater Hall speech back in September 2022 where clearly she had been paid to attend, and she just talked about herself. That is not inspirational. Thus, if you involve the Sussexes, you run the risk of having to pay for them, and they don't come cheap, and furthermore, they're not value for money, both in terms of the distraction that they pose by virtue of their behaviour, and that so many people don't like them. Invictus is a fantastic organisation and concept. People who have given for, this, for the defence of their country or realm ought properly to be recognised. Individuals that have sustained injury or illness as a consequence of giving themselves to the relevant country. They should not only be recognised, praised, but more importantly, receive help where they require it. If your organisation is spunking money on private jets and expensive clothing and accommodation and food for a narcissist and her ginger poodle, that money is being diverted away from the very people that need it. And if you are a trustee of that organisation, there is a prima facie case to argue that you're acting in breach of your trustee duties by failing to preserve the assets of that relevant charity or charitable organisation, that you're breaching your trustee duties by failing to ensure that the charity acts in the best interests of the individuals that it's meant to help. And in the circumstances, such individuals could not have a clear conscience by maintaining the involvement of the Sussexes, leeching from that organisation, and at the same time, in effect, bringing it into disrepute as a consequence of certain behaviours. We saw at the games at The Hague 
it all became about this one's wife, and she was at it again at Dusseldorf. That she marched in front of veterans in a disgusting instance of a form of stolen valour. With her gurning Richter's grin, she was lapping it all up. She's not a patron. She's the wife of a patron. She should be in the background, politely applauding, not getting in the way, doling out medals and hugging people, or running to the side because there's a gaggle of placed sugars that she wants to have a photograph taken with. But of course, she is a huge distraction and goes against the purpose of the organisation. And it would appear that Invictus Germany have decided what we'll do is we'll build upon the success that we enjoyed with the Dusseldorf games, but we'll do so by not having an involvement with the Sussexes, and we will ensure that the appropriate focus is on the people that are competing in the games, that are involved in the games, rather than Ginger and his handler. Invictus Germany has its own site, and it commences stating, Invictus Germany focuses on the people who ensure the freedom and security of us all through their service to their country. Those are the opening words. I don't think that you could have a firmer smack in the face of the gruesome twosome as if to say, we're focusing on the people that matter, not you. If they have suffered permanent disabilities in body and soul from wounds, injuries or illnesses during their time of service and have found their new place in the community, they deserve our respect and appreciation because with their way back into a new life, they also open up perspectives for other people and give courage and hope. These soldiers and the members of the Blue Light organisations, as well as their families, deserve all of our support for their rehabilitation. Family members and friends, the family and friends, make an important contribution to a new beginning and face great challenges themselves. Reason enough to also recognise them for their achievement and include them. Our goal is for the spirit of a home for respect to spread from Dusseldorf to all of Germany. Our citizens should gain new perspectives on the social role and importance of the people in the armed forces and the blue light organisations. For the competitors and their family and friends, the games will be a visible sign of appreciation and recognition. The vision of Invictus Games Dusseldorf 2023 is to outlast the games themselves. We want to stimulate a rethinking and a dialogue in society and to spread and develop the unique idea of the international Invictus Games. The games also provide a new or different view of the people in the Bundeswehr and the Blue Light organisations. On people who take personal health risks in the mission and in their daily service in uniform. At the Invictus Games, they become visible. And their story is tangible. We want to convey what duty and service on the road means and what people in uniform are prepared to do to stand up for our free democratic basic order, to save and to ensure security. Vicinity and personal encounters will carry the spirit of respect and solidarity throughout the city. The Invictus Games show in a unique way how sport can have a positive effect on the body and soul. Then goes on to talk more about the various disciplines and how skills and experience are involved in that regard. Invictus Germany is, is carried by D. Live, a company of the state capital Dusseldorf. Since 2019, D. Live has been responsible for the implementation of the Invictus Games in Germany, which will be held for the first time in 2023 in the Merckspiel Arena. The annual highlight will be the Invictus Germany, which will feature a selection of German participants from the Invictus family, as well as teams from selected nations to celebrate a weekend of encounters with their friend and family. Thus they, thus they also appear to have a new founding patron, who is Dr. Stephen Keller, so Harry isn't the patron. They've also invited seven other nations to be involved. It was successfully carried out at the games that took place in Dusseldorf, and they are now going to involve other countries. So it looks like Invictus Germany have decided that Ginge and Winge were a distraction, were a necessary drain upon resources, 
and they've decided to strike out alone with their own patron, their own separate competition as Invictus Germany, which involves other countries as well. It'd be interesting to see how Prince Harry responds to that, but it's not surprising that the patience of one of the aspects of Invictus has run out with the behaviour of the Sussexes. Clearly, they have seen the way that they have behaved and thought, this isn't what Invictus is about. As they stated in the first sentence, the focus must be on the people that need to be helped by Invictus. And they've seen that this one's wife and this one have clearly been a distraction from that. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.